the internals of decal machine have changed a lot. So if you want to use decals created in previous versions, you need to update and convert them first. This can be done in the Update Legacy Decal Libraries panel. Choose a path to update. Locate your custom decals folder from Decal Machine 1.4.2. It should look like this. Pick one of the libraries. Make sure you aren't in the Blends or Icons folders, but one above, and confirm. Next, choose an existing library to add those decals to. Only libraries that aren't locked are available. I'm quickly creating a few new empty ones. Library creation is covered in the preferences video, so check that out, if you haven't already. Double check if the correct library is chosen. I highly suggest you leave the first two boxes checked. You may also want to keep the legacy libraries around, if you have old decal assets, you want to port to 2.80. There is no tool for this yet, but storing the UUIDs among the old decals, is the first step in that direction. Finally, you can choose to keep the old thumbnails. But I'm going to create new ones for the first library. You can also tint the thumbnails, but I'll leave them as they are. Now, before I continue, I'm going to remove a few decals, that I don't want to bring over. You can do that, by simply deleting their icons. Then run the tool from the panel. You can watch the terminal for progress, if you want. It shouldn't take longer than 2 or 3 seconds per decal. And there they are. For the second library, let's use the old thumbnails. Without the thumbnail rendering, this is much faster. And once more, for the old info decals. Done. 